Hey, it's great to see you back. Today, we'll dive into our next grasshopper project and make something amazing together. Let's get started. Vector. Construct point. Our point is located at the origin by default. We will change the point's coordinates in the x and y directions. Params. Number slider. Connect to the x coordinate. Let's increase the maximum value of the slider. Double click on the number slider. Digits. 1. Maximum value. One hundred. Click OK. Let's create a copy of the slider by pressing Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Connect to the Y coordinate. Let's create a polygon using the point as the plane. Curve. Primitive. Polygon. Let's move the center of the polygon to the location of the point. Connect point to the plane. Now, let's take a look at the inputs of our polygon component. Radius, 3. Segments, 6. Fillet radius, 0. Let's see what we can do with these parameters. Double click on the canvas to activate the search bar. Minimum value, 0. Less than. Maximum value, 50.0. Press enter. Minimum, 0. Maximum, 50.0. Connect to the radius. Segments, 6. Double click on the canvas to activate the search bar. 3. Enter. Connect to the segments. Four. Fillet radius, zero. Double click on the canvas to activate the search bar. 3.0. Press enter. Connect to the fillet radius. X coordinate, 0. Y coordinate, 0. Now, let's create a point on the curve by specifying its parameter value. Point on curve. Connect the polygon to the point. 0 0.5 corresponds to the exact middle of the curve. Let's learn how to create a circle using this point as the center. Circle. Connect the point to the plane. Let's change the radius of the circle using a number slider. Control C, Control V. Connect to the radius.
change the polygon radius. Let's subtract the circle from the polygon using the Region Intersection tool. Intersect Region Difference Curve to Subtract From Curve to Subtract Connect the polygon to the curves A Connect the circle to the curves B. We successfully cut the polygon using the circle. To clearly see the output, let's hide the previews of the other components. Hold Shift to select multiple components. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Click the mouse wheel. Enable preview. Let's convert the new region we created into a surface. Surface. Freeform. Boundary surface. Connect the result to the edges. The Boundary Surface tool converts closed and planar edges into a surface. Let's transform this surface into a 3D geometry. Freeform. Extrude. Connect the surface to the base. To perform the extrude operation, we need to connect a Z vector to the direction input. Vector. Vector. Unit Z. Connect the unit vector to the direction. We extruded the surface by one unit. Double click on the canvas to activate the search bar. 15. Press Enter. Connect to the factor. Let's use a number slider with a smaller range to create a flooring layer. Delete. Double click on the canvas to activate the search bar. 0 0.50. Press Enter. Minimum, 0, 0.00. Maximum, 1.00. Connect to the factor. Now. Let's create multiple copies of this geometry along the z-axis. Transform. Linear Array. Connect the extrusion to the geometry. Let's create copies along the z-axis instead of the default x-direction since we need to duplicate them upward. Vector Vector Unit Z Connect the unit vector to the direction. Let's use a number slider to adjust the factor input. Control C, Control V. This allows us to determine the distance between each geometry. Connect to the factor. The default copy count is 10. Double click on the canvas to activate the search bar. 12. Connect to the count.
20. Y coordinate. Polygon radius. Polygon segments. Fillet radius. Point on curve. Circle radius. Extrude. Count. Let's enhance the visual appearance of our geometry by customizing its materials and colors. Display. Custom preview. Connect the geometries. Let's use the color swatch to customize our geometry's colors. Params. Input. Color swatch. Connect to the material. Open the color palette. Change the color. Change the hue value. 205 Polygon radius Let's disable some geometries preview to eliminate the overlapping and make the view cleaner. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Perspective. Monochrome. Right click on the geometry. Bake. Click OK. Select objects. Move. Finally, let's create another example by adjusting some parameters. Point on curve. Circle radius. Right click on the geometry. Bake. Click OK. Select objects. Move. Full screen. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.